Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. It's here yeah, like the singer. If you didn't know, now you know. So today I'm gonna be giving y'all my wash day routine and how I style my hair for my wash and goes. It's been a little minute since y'all been asking me for it. But I mean, I just big shop in like February, March. And this is my first time having my hair in this state since like 2014. Yeah, so I need some time to, you know, it wasn't really about finding products because I literally only used three products. It was more of me learning technique and I'm still kind of learning. But yeah, let's just get into the video. So as y'all can see, I have my three products behind me. I have shampoo, conditioner, and a styler. The shampoo and the conditioner, I have Redken's Extreme Lint with the Biotin Complex. Really, it's just a protein shampoo and conditioner, really. But the Biotin does help retain lint tremendously for me. So that's like my main goal is to keep my hair moisturized and retain as much lint as possible i'm also taking biotin pills so it's kind of like an inside out deal right now biotin on outside helps with retention biotin on the inside helps with growth that's if you have it maxed out on your hair growth speed so if you already have b7 which is vitamin b7 is biotin and you already getting that in your diet i'm not because i eat terrible if you're already getting that in your diet biotin pills is not gonna do a thing for you like you're probably already maxed out if you're living a healthy lifestyle you're drinking your water you eating your fish and your eggs and Mm hmm all that what is it yeah i think yams has it or was it sweet potatoes it was one of them if you eating good you already maxed out baby so i genetically do grow hair super duper duper fast i do genetically have thicker hair like more dense hair uh, i don't know where the density comes from this hair growth speed definitely comes from my dad's side like he literally my brother now too he literally has to shave his face every single day like my brother grows a beard if he don't shave his face in a week and a half he has a fully connecting beard where you can barely see his skin underneath it's crazy um i don't know what to tell y'all <laughs> the most i can do is give you tips for retention because i don't know because it, it no matter what's going on up here you're not holding no length if this is breaking off because you're handling your hair any type of way but anyways redken was the brand i was using before i started using these shampoos i started using these shampoos like like right before i big chop because i knew i wanted to start using the protein i was using the all soft mega beforehand which is one of their curly lines because my hair was just when it was over processed it was just really really brittle and it was always dry which made no sense well it was very porous because it was over processed so it wasn't holding any water how do i explain it when it it was wet it was soaking wet but then it lets it go super duper duper fast so your hair is either soaking soaking wet or dry and cracking and breaking and yeah but yeah the line is literally extreme length i'm not playing my styler this was a one and done i really didn't even have to like try a bunch of different because while i was transitioning i was searching for products that i wanted to try because i knew i wanted to minimize my routine where the main thing was water 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 so i wash i do wash my hair weekly weekly it'd be it'd be pushing like eight nine ten days but we're gonna say weekly because sometimes i wash it earlier if i have to like do something my hair is like too frizzy and i love the frizz but if i got like somewhere to go though yeah I just really liked all the reviews for this. Like, I haven't seen anybody with a bad review. If I had seen somebody with a bad review, it's because they didn't understand what a cast was. And they just didn't like how their hair was hard and crunchy. But that's what you want when you want that definition. You just sleep on it or you squeeze the crunch out and you're good. You, your hair is soft again. Like, don't don't be doing the most. But yeah, the dude from Moose Dev is my favorite. If y'all want to recommend some more mousses and stuff, I really don't want to try no gels. I'm, I'm really, I'm not against gels. But mousses is so much easier because it dries fast. And like I said, you're doing the minimum. There was one that somebody was suggesting to me. But um, people on TikTok were saying that the bees were chasing them because of the honey smell in it. We got we got bees around this house. I don't, I don't want to do that. I'm probably not going to change my shampoo condition. Y'all can suggest stuff for me to try. Like eventually, maybe one day, possibly, I would want to try another shampoo and conditioner. But as of now, I didn't, I'm not switching from these anything else that needs to be said i will say it while i'm actually washing my hair which i'm about to watch now i'm gonna start wearing my mouth so i can actually see my routine i definitely edited a clip of my hair before i started filming this video so y'all don't get that first but okay so i hate going from wet to dry and dry to wet so i do have like overstimulated autism face a lot in this video like i have to remind myself to relax my face which is why i don't like doing 
wash day videos. But anyways, I saturate my hair completely. Like, if I think it's all the way wet, I do it for another three minutes at least. Because it needs to be, like, really, 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 really wet. And the first shampoo, I use kind of a lot just to get it all saturated. And then I kind of, like, work it in. Like, I smooth it in section by section, like, as if I was applying, like, a styling product or something. Or like, a leave-in conditioner. I don't really detangle during the first... But yeah, like I was saying, I'm just smoothing it in and making sure that the shampoo is getting to like every strand. I'm not really detangling. And then I go in with the scalp massager. And I don't do it for as long as I do it the second time. But I also do it just to make sure like it's the... Because you see how like the roots look like ain't even got no shampoo? Yeah, this helps a little bit. Literally the only time my face wasn't scrunched up was when I was reacting to MHA playing in the background. But anyways, I um rinse it out with warm water, hot water, whatever. And then y'all see how soapy it is the second go around. And I used even less, 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 less shampoo than the first time. But this is how you know that that first shampoo really got my hair clean. Because look, it's just so, so. But yeah, y'all see I'm actually like going and detangling this time. And the conditioner that I use doesn't have a lot of slip at all. So I kind of do need to pre-detangle a little bit. Because I'll, I'll end up being too rough because it'll just keep snagging because there's absolutely no slip with that conditioner but that conditioner is i i, I can't explain it y'all like i don't really have any shedding like it's it's great i don't but it just sucks at like it's crazy that the shampoo is better at detangling my hair than the conditioner but you know it's helping me retain this length so i'll stay quiet but yeah again with the hot water Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. yeah this clip is kind of long I think I'm going to cut it. But yeah, then I go in with the conditioner and work it in really, really, really well. But I'm not, I'm heavy handed with the conditioner, but not like I used to be. Like, I feel like I didn't really know how to work in conditioner before because, you know, you can't feel the soapiness and stuff like that. Especially like a conditioner like this that has no slip where you can't really feel it, you know. But anyways, I start um, detangling my hair. I have to split it up a little bit first. I split it in half to detangle. Um, when my hair was longer, like waist length, I used to have to do it in fours, but I, it's, it's not as much as it has so now, so I just do it in half. And I do go in with my hands first just to apply more conditioner because I do kind of put a little bit a lot. And then by the time I go in with the brush, yeah, it's gliding through mostly. But when I am detangling, when I get closer, I mostly do this with my sister's hair because she has type 4 hair. But I'll use my other hand to keep the hair stretched as I move up. Because, you know, like, you'll be detangling the top and you come back down to the bottom and the bottom has, like, scrunched back up so then your brush gets stuck. Yeah, but y'all see how I'm, like, grabbing the hair with my hand before I go back into going higher? Yeah, that helps a lot with type 4 hair. But it helps with me, too. But I really... It's just me being extra gentle because I'm trying to retain length. I, I just haven't been doing the most. But anyways, I rinse out with completely cold water and my face was just scrunched up the whole time. So y'all not getting that clip. But yeah, I'm making sure my part is right before I start styling my hair because I style my hair in the shower. So I'm splitting it into fours here and then I'm putting everything up and then focusing on the front first because I notice my hair comes out better when I do the front first. I don't know why. I, I don't know. But yeah, I'm going in with the mousse duff and I don't really, um, I don't really do the pieces like super tiny, what do they call it, like sh the shingling method. I don't really do that. It's close to that, but the pieces aren't that small that I like separate them into. As y'all can see here, like they're not that small, but you know, I'm still like smoothing the product in like really, really, really well and going over each little section to make sure like it's smooth and just to help combat the fridge you know and i'm using a lot of product like i use three pumps for each section and not like each fourth section but like each section inside of those fourth sections and i do like three four sections in each so yeah it's a lot of product that i'm using and it's because i want my hair to have that um that cast on it kind of like a gel cast but it's a mousse cast because it's mousse but yeah like i want my curls to be hard and crunchy so when I sleep on it and I crunch them in the next morning, they will soften up, but they'll be super duper duper super freaking defined. But yeah, this is just me trying to show y'all how like small the sections are because they're not 
super super tiny i do do them a little bit smaller when i'm doing my sister's hair though so it really just depends on your hair type but yeah this is literally the only product i use for my wash and go like i have been using just shampoo conditioner and mousse weekly since i did the big shop that's it and it's because i don't want any product buildup that i have to work off i don't want any fancy styles that is going to be held to the tangle and you know because i'm my main goal is to retain length which is another reason why i have that specific shampoo and conditioner and why i'm giving up slippy conditioner and having to be extra gentle to the tangling because i just want to grow my hair back out but yeah that i don't really scrunch it but i do fluff like push it up um ignore my desk i got a lot going on right now because i got a new um desktop stand and i haven't put it together yet just ignore it oh, i'm trying to undo this knot in this thing this big heavy duty dryer okay so this is the dyson supersonic it's probably been like 10 minutes since i finished doing my hair though i usually go straight in with the diffuser sometimes like i'll wait a couple minutes but not on purpose mostly because like i'm doing stuff yeah my hair is looser in this one section <laughs> and i'm gonna end up buying scissors to cut it because it's not it's the same length as the other side but the curl pattern is stretched right here this little section and it bothers me a lot so it makes this shape don't be the circle that i want and this side just it's always perfect but yeah i'm gonna go in i have it on high fan low heat so my lips is dry let me put some on first Y'all know that every time I do my hair, I have to share one. For years, this is my hair shirt. <laughs> So I'm about 70% dry. I usually like to get it to like 80, 90% dry. And then I let it air dry the rest of the way. Because if I air dry it 100%, the ends don't, they don't ringlet at the end. Yeah, if I dry it to 100% with the diffuser, it doesn't do that on the ends. And I, I really like the ringlets that be like on my bang pieces. But yeah, my roots be like completely dry from the diffuser. But the ends, they're like, they still holding a little water. And so my hair is very crinkly. So it's noisy, even though it's not dry. But you see how it's crinkly? That's what you want. Some people put oil on their hands and think on their hair, but me and oil, y'all know we don't get along. So I take a um like one of my scarves and put it in my hand, and then I just scrunch with the scarves on top of my hand. But yeah, this is right after diffusing. And yeah, so I'll see y'all tomorrow to show y'all how it looks after scrunching it. I don't um pick it and fluff it on day one. I just get rid of the cast and then on day two that's when i fluff it and stuff so i'm probably gonna do the intro on day two hair that's it for now so this is what i woke up to i know the lighting is weird because it's like around noon um very crinkly looks like i dumped a whole bunch of gel on my head and then said let's go so i did shake it a bit i'm about to break the cast literally i just go in like this in scratch you see that it's already it's already a little bit of a difference 
and I'm applying a bit of pressure, you know. See, we're getting somewhere. It's not like sticking up all crazy anymore because it's not like stuck. Also, please be reminded that I've only had my natural hair since what? Like February? And before that, my hair hasn't been in this state since like 2014. I lied, like maybe like 2015. 2015, I got heat damage. And you know, it was waist length of a heat damage. What I'm gonna do about that? Flexi said. And then as the heat damage grew out, um, I had like half curly, half straight by the time I started dying and bleaching my hair, which loosened up the un heat damage hair. So then it just was all looking the same again. So I just kept coloring. But yeah, even if I wanted to, my mama would have not went for me chopping that hair off back then. I got all that side, but this side still feels, all right, that's better. Also, usually after day two, I usually shower without a cap on because I feel like it makes the ends more curly. And that's also why I only like using one styling product because it's easier to re-moisturize my hair with like shower steam. Because there's only like one product coating my strand and it moves. Like the water gets in. The water gets into my hair. But yeah, sometimes the best, the best looking hair is like an old wash day. But I was like out in the humidity or I took a shower without a shower cap. And then like my hair will look amazing after that. Should I get like an, a steamer, a steamer bowl to sit under? I don't know. But yeah, I don't know why though. I'm just gonna let the hair do what it do today. But yeah, this is the hair. And it's very lacking in volume. I'm trying to give y'all some detailed shots, but I can't tell if it's focused on my hair or not. I'm twirling in my chair very slowly. Very, very, very slowly. I'll see y'all tomorrow with the final look of the wash day. Hopefully it's like cute. I feel like it's not gonna be because I'm filming. <laughs> Anyways, it's still day one. <laughs> It's just the evening time. I just finished filming the um, room tour. I just want to show y'all how it looks. This is a true day one fro. No fluffing, no um pick, just scrunching and normal movement for me moving around. But yeah, really, really cute. I'm excited to see how it looks tomorrow. I feel like maybe I wanted to post it tomorrow, but I was like, maybe I should also wait to show y'all how it looks on day three after I let it steam get to it a little bit. But I kind of really want to post this tomorrow. And I kind of already posted on my story that I was going to post it tomorrow. So then we'll show you day two. I might make a TikTok of like day one hair, day two hair, day three hair, day four hair, just to show. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that right now, actually. So yeah, I'm going to um, upload this clip to edit because I already edited all the other clips of me washing my hair and stuff like that because I've been productive today. Yeah, so I'm going to go make that TikTok. I'm going to go look for the sound. See y'all tomorrow. Okay, so it's day two. <laughs> But it's giving like day four because I actually did let my hair steam a little bit. And I didn't do it as long as I usually do because I was scared. But I still did it. So we still got a little bit of volume. So it's giving like the volume of day three but like the frizziness of day four. I will say that I'm excited to see how long my hair. Because I've noticed that it's like the same length but it's not as round as it was before my haircut. So I'm excited to see how long my hair grows out before it drops. Because like I said earlier, the last time my hair was like this was 2014 and it was waist length. And my hair did not sit up, which is why I did flexi rod sets and perm rod sets so much. Because I wanted round shrinkage hair and I just didn't have that. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video, which should be my room tour. So, stay tuned. <laughs>